Sleuthers have been waiting a very long time for a new Hallmark mystery. They are soon going to get Francesca Quinn, P.I., starring Mallory Jensen and Dylan Bruce. However, some online sleuthers have noticed a distinct similarity between this new signature mystery and how Mystery 101 left off with a surprising cliffhanger. What have they noticed? In the Reddit Hallmark Movies group, one sleuther wrote a post that was entitled Francesca Quinn, P.I. Theory. They went on to share how similar the DNA is between Mystery 101 Cliffhanger Resolution and the upcoming premiere of Mallory Jansen's new signature mystery. Many posters agreed, there are many similarities between the two. Moreover, there is concern that perhaps the Mystery 101 number 8 would be scrapped for this new series. What did the Reddit poster mean? Let's break this down. First, this Reddit poster noted that looking at John Christian Plummer's IMDb, they saw that the Mystery 101 screenwriter also wrote the screenplay for Francesca Quinn, P.I. It should also be noted that Plummer also co-wrote the teleplay with Erin Dobson for Dying for Chocolate, a curious caterer mystery. This script was based on the Diane Mott Davidson novel and premiered last April. Andrew W. Walker and Nikki DeLoach starred in this new signature mystery. Moreover, there is nothing similar about this storyline to Mystery 101 or Francesca Quinn, P.I. Next, they mentioned the Christopher Pulaha Hallmarkies podcast interview about the cliffhanger. This was conducted last December. Therefore, Rachel and Anne wanted to know when they were going to make another movie. Pulaha carefully explained why he thought there would be more, after revealing that the script for the eighth mystery was locked and loaded. This does not fully answer the original question, are they similar stories? Therefore, we need to go back to the beginning, where the Reddit poster pointed out that the DNA between the Francesca Quinn, P.I. synopsis, and Mystery 101 is more than a similar writer. They are definitely similar scenarios. Next, in order to establish the similarities, we need to know what happened at the end of Mystery 101, Deadly History. After Amy and Travis finally declare their love, there is a time jump. Now, it is 11 months later. Travis arrives at a crime scene. He sees Amy is there. Travis then asks his partner, Maria, why Amy is there. Maria reveals that the murder victim is Sam Jameson. Maria then asks her partner whether he knows who that is. Travis responds, yeah, I know. He is Amy's fiancé. This is the shocker. The murder victim is Amy's fiancé. Where did he come from? What transpired in those 11 months that broke up Travis and Amy, only to have Amy get engaged to another guy? Moreover, what happens next? Most of all, it seems that the upcoming mystery, Francesca Quinn, P.I. seems to continue where deadly history left off. According to the Hallmark synopsis, this is the story of the upcoming H.M.M. mystery. The similarity is there. Both Jill and Frankie are brilliant women, and both of them have had a fiancé that was murdered. Moreover, the investigative officer is their ex. Another similarity, according to the casting workbook, where we first learned about this hallmark mystery, is that Carl Wiseman is a novelist. This is like Amy's father, Graham Winslow, Robin Thomas. But, in Francesca Quinn, P.I., we are starting out with a woman who had a bad breakup in the past, but now has lost her fiancé in the most horrific of ways. In Mystery 101, we saw the relationship build over seven movies. The cliffhanger is after the time jump. Amy's fiancé who is not Travis, is murdered. Could the Reddit poster be on to something? Did John Christian Plummer have adjusted his Mystery 101 movie script to create a whole new mystery series? If so, what does this mean for the future of Mystery 101, or could this be a coincidence? Currently, neither Hallmark nor John Christian Plummer has indicated any such reworking. However, Slithers may start asking more questions. Maybe someone will explain. It is very possible that John Christian Plummer had two different paths for Amy and Travis and decided to explore the other one. Moreover, Christopher Polaha did indicate at Christmas Con that the executives at Hallmark Media are interested in doing another Mystery 101. Flithers, do you see a similar DNA between the two Hallmark mystery stories? Have you noticed the similarities? Are you concerned about Mystery 101 now that we have these new developments? Thanks for watching this videos. Please subscribe our channel, Hallmark Gossip, for more update news.